Hello, everybody. This is Maxine Taylor. Welcome to my full moon ceremony, my virtual full moon ceremony. Um, some of you have told me how much you enjoy it. I am thrilled. I'm thrilled when you are ready to hear it and you grab the ball and run with it. Oh, you know, and I know that if you have done that, how oh, exciting it is. So if you if you have uh, taken a stand for yourself, if you have moved forward toward your dream, bravo to you. All right. Now on the full moon, everything pops. So let's talk about where the full moon is. It's in 11 degrees of Capricorn. Uh, find 11 Capricorn in your birth chart because that is where it's going to come to a head. Uh, now the full moon is tomorrow at 7.39 a.m. When I say tomorrow, I mean July 3rd. You know, I feel like you and I are sitting in my living room talking. Well, I'm in my living room. Um, Wish you were here. Uh, so the full moon is going to be at 7.39 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Convert that to your time zone and you'll know exactly when you feel it. We are starting to feel it because, in fact, we started the other day. Um, as we approach the full moon, you feel like um, a violin string or, or a guitar string that is getting tighter and tighter and tighter, and ultimately it pops. That's how I see the full moon. And so it's going to be July 3rd, uh, which is of course tomorrow, if you're watching this naturally on the day before. All right. So, um, oh, and some of you have asked, can you use, uh, if, if you have a sun in Capricorn, Great, but if you have an ascendant in Capricorn, can that apply too? Yes, absolutely. What I'm going to say applies to the sun or the ascendant. All right, so Capricorn, this is your time to do what you want, when you want, how you want, because you want. It is your turn. Do your thing your way across the board. Now, <clears throat> if it's something wild and crazy, but it's something you're accustomed to, have a ball. Aquarius, wow. Uh, on this full moon, you're going to want to pull back and retreat. And you really appreciate your solitude and privacy. Your, your, your spiritual side is very strong. And you may be in tune with spirit on a level that you don't want anybody to interrupt. Pisces, it's time It's time for you to get together with your friends. This particular full moon um, activates the humanitarian in you, which is absolutely beautiful. Do, uh, devote your time to your friends, socializing with friends, being a friend. Aries, move to the top. It's your turn to move upward in your career, whatever that happens to be. If you have more than one career, uh, apply it to both. Your public image is what is triggered. Take advantage of it. No lateral moves, only upward. Taurus, you're ready to uh, perhaps get on a plane and go someplace far, far away. I know that travel this particular weekend is a little bit dicey. Um, however, my suggestion would be that uh, now that they've gotten the flights worked out, if you have a, a, a passport and you've always wanted to go to a place that's far, far away, this particular full moon encourages you to do that. It also encourages you to take a stand for your principles and your beliefs. I love that. Gemini, this is very interesting. It's a time of transformation for you. It's a time of helping other people create money uh, and maybe becoming involved in uh, mutually beneficial um, financial projects. 
Uh, however, more than anything, it's trans transformation and transmutation. It's gorgeous. Cancerians, relationships. That's what's emphasized. Personal relationships, work relationships, other people. You're putting your attention on others. And they appreciate it. Because what's, what you're attracting to you now is people who put their attention on themselves. So you might as well join the party. Leo. <clears throat> I should say great, grand, glorious Leo. I haven't forgotten. Um, your work and your health are very important to you now. And situations involving your work, your job, your health can come up to be resolved. This can be really cool, okay? So uh, before Venus goes direct, retrograde, excuse me, on the 22nd, if you're thinking of starting a new job, um, you've got the green light. Virgo, it is time to party. Virgo, you find yourself serving other people so much. Um, enjoy yourself if you've got kids, spend time with them. Um, and this applies to your pets as well. They are your children. It's just time to let it rip and have a good time. Libra, home and family, very important to you. Um, are you moving? Are you buying a house? Are you selling a house? Are you decorating a house? It doesn't matter. Home and family. The home is where the hearth is and the heart. Okay, Scorpio, interesting. You are such a psychic detective. Now you may want to share some of your findings and some of your ideas. Uh, so uh, are you writing a book, uh, a blog? Share your ideas. It's also a time to communicate with siblings if they should come up, uh, you know, in conversation. In other words, share your ideas. And last but not least, Sagittarius money. This brings your finances to a head, this particular full moon. So decide how much money you want and just wait for it. Because this full moon positively emphasizes money in your solar chart. Oh, how, how beautiful. Okay, now, did you bring your list with you of what you'd like to create this month? If you haven't, pause this video um, and just make a list of what you'd like to create. We burn our lists because we, we want to send them to God. Very often, people are reluctant to... Uh, burn their list. They'll keep looking at it, or after they've burnt it, they save the ashes, that type of thing. Let it go. Let it out, get it out of your hands so that spirit, God, which is what you really are, uh, can do the job for you. Otherwise, you're going to be in your left brain driving yourself nuts, right? We know that. You're going to say, when are you going to give it to me, God? God always delivers. Don't push it away by um, pulling up the seeds to see if the if the tree that you have planted is has started to grow yet. Just let it happen. All right. So I am going to, as I always do burn my list first i'm gonna tear it up so that it can burn easily and those of you who know me don't you think i'm doing really well with fire mm. of course i'm using old-fashioned matches i know i know Okay, here we go. 
and I'm burning my list. Excellent. And you just set it down, let it burn, keep it away from children, of course. And I'm going to set this one on the floor so that the smoke as it burns will waft upward. Okay. And just accept that what you asked for is on its way to you in a, a way that you would never have imagined, better than you imagined. Now, if you asked for something for somebody else, that's a little tricky because if you want a child to change, for example, um, I understand if you are a parent and you want your child to do, do something your way, but when the kid is 40 years old, I think you need to just focus on you. You know what I'm saying? Cool. Okay. Now. Oh, I love this part. Now that we have burned our lists, and if you haven't finished burning your list, go ahead, pause the video, and uh, I'm not going anywhere. What we do, and some of you have done this with me every month, and you've told me how it calms you, um, and which thrills me, just thrills me, because what I'm sharing with you are things that I have found that work for me time and time again. So in order to create something, we have to be um, in a state of love. The deeper you are in a state of love, the more instantaneous the, the healing, the uh, receiving of the gift, uh, the good stuff, it, it, it just, it's like instant karma of the highest and best uh, level, on the highest and best level. So all you do is put your hand on your heart. And it feels good. And you it, it calms you. And just move into it. Because love is life. Love is everything. It is the greatest antidote in the world. It calms you. And once you are in a state of love, then, and now that you have burnt your lists or they are burning, extend your right hand. And in your right hand, place mentally what you want more than anything in the world. Okay? Do you want peace within yourself? Do you want healing? Do you want love? Uh, do you want money? Um, you want a wonderful job? Uh, do you have a book that you want to publish? Whatever you want. Take the one that means the most to you now. Uh, that, that you want with all your heart, with all your soul. Okay. And in the left hand, ask God to place in your left hand what is blocking you from having that? And you can even say, who is blocking you? How they are blocking you. Who and where and when. Anything that is blocking you in your left hand. And if you can't put a, a, a face to it, or if, if you can't get specific, just feel the emotion that you're feeling at the thought of having what you want and ask to be shown why you're feeling why you're feeling blocked. Okay. And the bottom line is if you know you're blocked, 
That's all you need to know. And what you do with this is you haul back and you send it flying out into the universe to God and let God take care of it because you want to be free from any blocks to having what you want. And once you send it off, you're left with what you want. And you can put it back right, put your hand back on your heart and, and move right back into love. And so now that you have let go of whoever or whatever is blocking you from having your dream. I'm talking about what makes your heart sing. We are going to take back the power that you have given that person, place, or thing over you and over your having what you want. And so we're going, I'm going to give you acceptances and you're going to start by saying, I, followed by your full name at birth. And if you've been married, I don't know, six times, it doesn't matter. You're only going to use the your birth name. So if your birth name happens to be uh, John Stephen Smith the third. That's what you say. That was your your original name. Okay. So I'm going to carry you through it. And when I say I, you're going to say your birth name. I, your birth name now, I take back my heart and just feel that love from your heart pouring down from the top of your head through every cell in your body and out the soles of your feet. I take back my heart. This allows you to love. I take back my soul. Same procedure. Your soul is the part of you that is of God. I take back my mind. This allows you to think. Who have you given your mind to? Who do you listen to? Listen to God within you. Take back your mind. I take back my body. How many of you are sick? You have illnesses. Uh, do you know you don't have to have them anymore? It really is not a requirement. I take back my body. I take back my honor. Mm. I take back my integrity. Integrity means doing what you say you'll do. I take back my identity. Your identity, my identity is God. I take back my self-respect. Some of us have sold out. No judgment there. That's just what we were taught to do. I take back my God-given talents, abilities, and power. Accept that and let it pour down from the top of your head through every cell in your body and out the soles of your feet. It is time for you to express your God-given talents, 
abilities and power. And to wrap it up in a bow, I take back my life. It's mine. And I reclaim it. And just accept it. Now, you should be feeling pretty good. And so I'm going to Polish it off with my star cards. And those of you, uh, if this is your first visit, these star cards, and the little star on the back, are all positive. I had a bunch of cards that I was using. Um, and some of the cards were ambiguous couple of them were actually negative and I thought mm -mm, I don't want that I want only positive I want only love I want the good stuff I've earned it oh and when I say I I mean you because we are one what happens to you happens to me we are one People in power may try to separate us, turn us against each other. When you come from love, you're the, we're the same. No biggie. Easy. So I'm going to pull these cards one at a time and uh, read them and then Replace the pronoun uh, you with I because claim what it says on the card, especially if you resonate to it. Okay, the first one. You claim your success. You're going to say, I claim my success. And let that pour down through you, through every cell in your body and out the soles of your feet. You are healed. I am healed. Love is the universal antidote. Here we go. You are fun. I am fun. You transform yourself. I transform myself. Are you getting excited? These always get me so excited. You are gorgeous. I am gorgeous. You are magical. I am magical. This pendant I wear pretty much all the time is called Awakened Magic. Your friends and clients love you. My friends and clients love me. You have mega energy. <laughs> I have mega energy. You are loved and wanted. I am loved and wanted. You are free. I am free. You are special. I am special. You are magnificent. I am magnificent. I've met some of you. You are magnificent. And lastly, let's see. You are awesome. 
I am awesome. Ah, okay, my dear friends. Thank you for being with me on this wonderful uh, pre-July 4th day. Um, I, I wish you uh, blessings galore. Uh, when you burn your lists, let them go and know that there is a loving universe that wants to give you what you want. All you have to do is get rid of whatever is blocking you from having it or whoever is blocking you from having it and then just duck because it's going to be on the way to you like that. And so till next time, may the stars shine brightly on you and yours. Bye for now.